Welcome to another Horizon Wars Zero Dark video uh, as I explain elements of the game in my previous videos which I will try to add in up here if I can work the YouTube Google Foo. Um, we can see the dice mechanics in the game and a simple application of those dice mechanics in a typical shooting action. For this video however we're going to be looking at building your team. Uh, there are really two philosophies to building a team in Horizon War Zero Dark, and which one you choose is entirely up to you. You can either design your team on paper, make them as maximally efficient as you think you can, and then pick miniatures out of your collection to represent them, or you can pick your favourite miniatures out of your collection and then give them statistics to support the miniatures. Either way really doesn't matter. We're just going to look at this today, in another video, not soon, but at some time in the future, I will look at miniatures ranges that are good for, for, for Zero Dark, but for now I'm sure you've got some of your own. Let's have a look through then. Um, so I've got all the stats along the top. We've got some sort of secondary stats left and right, and then the key ones down the middle here. So I'll take you through these first, and the key four stats are M, which is mobility, F, fight, A, acuity, so mental uh, powers and last of all D discipline so we've got two physical and two mental stats um, and they obviously describe M is is how mobile how fast how good they are at climbing that kind of stuff um, F fight mostly is about their shooting ability so it describes the the weapon that they're equipped with how accurate it is how much killing power it has on a very basic level um, it also comes into play in close quarter battle but not on its own. Um, a, acuity, mental knowledge is used for things like uh, medic tests, for interacting with some objectives, and it's used a lot by electronic warfare operators, EWOPs. And last of all, discipline. Discipline is used for all of those kind of military test things, so how good you are at moving quietly. Um, it's used a little bit in sort of command and control. It even comes into things like um, how well you, you use a respirator to check whether you've fitted it properly. So it's all used in those kinds of things. The defensive stats over here are armor value and firewall, AV and FW. Um, armor value obviously describes how much armor the guy, uh, the, the hero is wearing and how effective it is. And firewall is their defense against electronic warfare. Last column over here is a bit squashed in. To be honest, it should be a bit bigger than that, but we're not going to look at this in a lot of detail in this video. This is special rules and upgrades. The one which I haven't covered yet is at this end. This is the cylinder. Cylinder, um, you might have come across concepts like silhouette in other games. Um, I'm trying to think if there's someone that used cylinder. I think War Machine might have used the idea of a cylinder. It's the size of the miniature, basically. And for the purposes of this demo, all human-sized heroes are cylinder three. So we're just going to pop in a cylinder three there. Now I've started a hero here. He's called Bob. Now uh, actually I like hero names I think are really important. Coming up with a good name for your hero um, really really helps. It helps bind you into the setting. Um, it also can act as a reminder as to what role that hero fulfills. So, you know, you might call the leader of your team Winston or Montgomery or something like that, something to, to embed who they are. Um, so think about your names. Don't just call them normal names like Tom and Dick and Ruth and stuff like that. So um, got the name. Uh, Bob is Cylinder 3. He's a normal sized human. And now we're going to look at the four key stats. So you are given 15 points to assemble the key stats here. So the basic standard is going to be three stats of four and one of three. Okay, so four, 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 three, or three, four, 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 whatever like that is your, your average hero. Um, the minimum you can go to is two, the maximum you can go to is six. Now I'm gonna say that Bob is gonna be the leader of my team. Now whether he has the special ability leader, we don't know, but he's gonna fulfill the role of being their leader. To that end, I want him to go strong on discipline, and I'm gonna give him a discipline of five. Um, meanwhile, I don't want him to be pushing into the middle. I don't want him to be the scout. Um, I want him to be hanging back. So I'm going to give him a relatively low mobility of three. So there I've spent eight out of my 15 points. I've still got seven to spend. 
on fight and acuity. Now, because he's hanging back, he may not need his acuity very much. He's not going to be my doctor. He's not going to be my ele electronic warfare operator. Um, and he's probably not going to be doing a lot of objective grabbing. So I'm going to push his acuity down to three and make his fight. My pen will work for me today. There we go. And make his fight four. So what we've got here is a high discipline, relatively low mobility, good average fight hero. So this is a, a pretty standard spread of stats. Now let's look at armor value and firewall. So firewall comes with the default of one. As simple as that. You can upgrade it later in the process, but that's the default. Everybody has a firewall of one unless you decide otherwise. Armor value similarly has a default of one. Everybody's got light armor. However, at the hero creation process, you can do something to that without spending any upgrades. We'll talk about upgrades in a moment. Armor value can go up to two or down to zero without it counting as an upgrade. Now you may say, why would I want him to have less armor or why would I not want him to have more? Well, the answer is that armor impacts on his ability to get around. So if you want somebody who can climb walls, jump obstacles, anything like that, you're going to want to max out their mobility and keep their armor value down. Um, in Bob's case, I'm going to keep him at armor value one on this occasion. If I push it up to two, again, he's got more protection, but he's not going to be as mobile climbing up obstacles. And I do want him to be able to move around a certain amount, and he's already going to be down because of that. So the exact rules of that we'll look at another time. Um, now, last of all, we get to upgrades over here. Now, I haven't done a lot of that yet because I want to stop and go back a little bit. So we've looked at the basic creation of a hero, but now let's look at the creation of a team. All teams come with their own sort of building blocks. So the first question you have to ask is, how many heroes am I going to have in my team? And as I I've said before, um, the sort of default is about four. You can go up to five or six. You can go down to as few as one on occasion. But I tend to say that the sweet spot is around four. So the number of heroes we have in our team is the first building block. And we've got four. The next one is the pool. Uh, and the pool is how many upgrades can the team have as a total. Um, and when you're just starting in the game, you're probably going to want to make that zero. But for the purposes of this video, let's go to what again I say is about the sweet spot. And I would say that is 12. Between 12 and 16, I see is when you get into the game, and you understand the rules, that's what you're going to want to use. Last of all is the ration. So of that pool, what's the maximum number of upgrades that a single hero can have? And in this case, I'm going to make the ration. Come on, pen, work for me. There we go. Four. So out of 12 possible upgrades, the most a hero can have is four. Now, you'll see if there's an even distribution, of course, they'll each have three. But one could have four, one could have two. Okay? So that's how it works out. So you've got your heroes, your pool, and your ration. So having taken one of my heroes, now I'm going to think about his upgrades. Now, when it comes to the special upgrades, there's a catalog. Uh, I'm not going to list them for two reasons. One, it would take a long time. And two, I do want you to buy the rules. However, for the purposes of this, we're going to give him one upgrade. I said he was going to be my leader and I am going to give him the leader upgrade. So that is one of his ration of four. Um, I also want to make sure that he is protected against things like um, uh, electronic warfare, hacking. So I'm going to raise his firewall by one. So that's two upgrades out of his ration of four. I'm only going to give him one more. I haven't given, given him the leader upgrade. He's going to have one more. Now you can spend up to three of your upgrades on these stats. Okay. And in thinking about him, I've decided that I do want him to be a little bit more mobile. So 
I'm going to spend one more upgrade point. Come on, work for me, pen. There we go. That's dreadful, isn't it? I'm going to do that again. There we go. Making his mobility four rather than three. And now he's just going to be a little bit more confident, climbing walls, jumping over obstacles, and moving quickly to where he's needed. So at that point, I've now spent one, two, three upgrade points out of his ration of four that I'm happy, and I'm going to stop there. So beyond this, building my team, I'd simply repeat the process three more times, deciding on the names of the heroes, the stats I want to allocate to them, and what upgrades I want to give them. Hope that all makes sense. Uh, if you've got any questions about making teams in Horizon War Zero Dark, please look in the comments below. And again, if I can do this right, uh, you will see a link. Uh, where is it going to be? It's going to be, oh, there. Okay, link right there. Uh, if you want to buy Horizon War Zero Dark, you can buy it there. Uh, if you would like to get a test uh, document, uh, a condensed version of the rules, you can find that down here. That's called Training Run. I hope that all works. All right. Thank you very much for watching this, and I will see you in the next video when we will start looking at missions and the Red Force. Bye.